gets it started up. Dan Denginer has had his Chevy Bolt for about eight months. You bought this car in February. How many times have you filled up since then? I haven't filled it up at all. I put in two gallons <laughs> just to see how much it would take. He drives back and forth to work every day and then plugs his car in when he gets home. I actually had a plasma TV that used more electricity than this does. It cost me about eight to ten dollars a month to charge this up to use it for the whole month. Have you ever used a charging station somewhere? No, I never had to because I live close by and and I don't really, there's not a lot around here. I think there's a couple at a couple of motels downtown. He's right. Currently, there is one public station at the Holiday Inn in downtown Albany. We visited it several times a day over the course of several days, and never once did we see an actual electric car parked here. We wanted to find out just how many drivers could even plug in if they wanted to, so we requested registration data from the Department of Motor Vehicles. As it turns out, there are just 1,100 electric and hybrid cars in the state of New York, and only 102 of them are being driven here in the capital region, half of which are owned by the state of New York. It's quite a bit of money to spend on that, considering the amount of people that do have the cars. Well, there's a lot of other things they could be doing with that money in this area, fixing roads and using it for other reasons. We reached out to NYSERDA, the agency passing out this cash, and the governor's office more than a dozen times looking for an on-camera interview. They denied our requests and would only answer a few questions via email. As for why the state thinks such a large investment is needed when such a small percentage of New Yorkers can actually use the stations, a NYSERDA spokeswoman says, quote, New York's investments in its EV infrastructure will help encourage the use of EVs and will allow New Yorkers to decrease their dependence on fossil fuels, thereby reducing Reducing their carbon footprint. Developing the state's EV infrastructure will stimulate the economic activity across the state and protect the environment. I wanted this one that was a concept car. <laughs> but even Dan, who loves his Volt, says the way to encourage more people to buy them is to drop the price. If the price was less, um, people would buy them more. I think also it's the people don't understand the technology. Right now, a basic model of the Chevy Volt costs nearly $40,000. There is a $7,500 rebate, but that's still a lot of money for a lot of people. That's a lot of money, too, for the, the normal, you know, mid, um, you know, middle class person to spend on a car. It's a classic question that will get you a different answer based on who you asked. Is the state putting the cart before the horse? If it's, it is a wave of, you know, the future, then it could be something that could be revisited down the line, maybe. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey.